Marcy Shore, The Ukrainian Night, An Intimate History of Revolution. Witness the journey to democracy in Ukraine through the eyes of Marcy Shores, The Ukrainian Night, An Intimate History of Revolution. The book sheds light on the transition from the Soviet Union era to the present-day struggle for independence and democracy. Discover the events that shaped Ukraine, from the rise of kleptocracy under Leonid Kukma to the 2004 Orange Revolution. Learn how the dismantling of the Orange Revolution paved the way for the re-emergence of Viktor Yanukovych and his regime, leading to the 2013 protests and the ongoing battle for a democratic Ukraine. Ukraine's Democratic Illusion Ukraine's struggle for democracy is marked by a series of political leaders who prioritize their self-interest over the welfare of their people. Despite multiple attempts to establish a democratic government, corruption and populist sentiments have continuously thwarted the country's democratic aspirations. In 1991, Ukraine achieved independence from the Soviet Union, inspiring hope that democracy would flourish in the newly formed country. Unfortunately, the reality was starkly different, as Ukraine fell into the clutches of kleptocracy. The country was led by a series of corrupt leaders, including Leonid Kukma, who employed blackmail to repress dissent, and Viktor Yanukovych, an armed robber and corrupt politician. Even Viktor Yushchenko, a central banker and democratic reformer, who won the presidency following the successful 2004 Orange Revolution, failed to tackle the oligarchy and corruption that plagued the country. Despite public demands for reform, Yushchenko's tenure was a disappointment, and disillusionment with him created a political void that Yanukovych exploited to re-enter politics in 2010. Unlike Yushchenko, Yanukovych offered no grand vision for Ukraine, only crude populism and self-interest. He was a kleptocrat who refused to sign an agreement with the EU, betraying the pro-democracy Ukrainians who had hoped for positive change. Young Ukrainians protested against Yanukovych as government, resulting in the 2014 Ukrainian Revolution. However, this revolution, too, was unable to sustain itself, leaving Ukraine in a state of perpetual political and social turmoil. Although Ukraine's case is unique, the overarching themes present in its struggle for democracy are universal. Leaders who prioritize their own interests over the needs of their people, oligarchy and corruption, and the limits of civil society's empowerment all share an uneasy existence. Ukraine's quest for democratic governance is a continuous reminder of the vital importance of citizens' active participation and the necessity of holding leaders accountable. The Revolution That United Ukraine In November 2013, protests against Yanukovych began in Ukraine, fueled by anger over police brutality towards a few hundred demonstrators. What started as a small gathering of youth grew exponentially as parents, doctors, artists, and mathematicians all joined the demonstrations in Kiev's Maidan. The protesters mingled and supported each other, united by their shared desire for a better future. Despite attempts by Yanukovych to use force to remove them, the protests continued for months, with families coming together to fight for their rights. Ultimately, the protests led to Yanukovych's downfall and a shift towards a more democratic government. The revolution marked a turning point in Ukraine's history, as citizens broke an unspoken social contract by standing up to a corrupt government that had previously never used violence against its own citizens. Ukraine's Maidan Protests The Maidan protests were a remarkable feat of civil society that started as a peaceful movement but was met with brutal repression from Yanukovych's regime. Ukrainian police and soldiers attacked protesters with tear gas, rubber bullets, and water cannons, among other tactics. Yanukovych employed thugs and hooligans to thin the ranks of peaceful protesters. The death of Yuri Verbitsky sparked a new wave of popular support for the nascent revolution, even from apolitical quarters. The Maidan protesters eschewed alcohol and changed shifts due to the cold and the new sense of urgency. Eventually, the protesters donned helmets, ski masks, and layers of clothes, carrying crowbars and baseball bats. The protests reflected the high levels of education among the protesters. The Battle for Ukraine's Democracy In 2014, 
Ukraine saw a turning point in its history when protesters gathered at Maidan to demand the restoration of the constitution that limited the president's powers. President Yanukovych responded with force, using tear gas, stun grenades, clubs, and rubber bullets on the unarmed crowd. The protesters, who were passionate but poorly armed, fought back by throwing rocks or had only Molotov cocktails but no lighters. As government snipers killed unarmed protesters, police and Burkut members defected to the protesters' side. The protesters took to the internet to spread their story, and live footage of their struggle was shown worldwide. This incident proved to be a miracle for the many veterans of solidarity who never thought they would see a second chance to fight for their democracy. Despite the casualties, the nationalists, with the help of defected troops, managed to overthrow Yanukovych's regime and elect a more democratic government. The Fall of Yanukovych and the Aftermath In the aftermath of Yanukovych's departure after the negotiation led by Polish Foreign Minister Radosław Sikorski, protesters remained on the Maidan waiting for a new election. However, the peace was short-lived as Russian forces began appearing in Crimea and soon annexed the region despite minimal resistance from the West. Putin claimed it was the will of the people and his approval rating skyrocketed. Meanwhile, Ukrainians were left feeling ignored as the eastern mining region of Donbass became a humanitarian crisis with refugees pouring into cities. The incompetence of the Ukrainian state was highlighted as it was ordinary Ukrainians and not the government who operated refugee centers. The revolution seemed far from over, and the future direction of Ukraine remained uncertain. Ukraine's Paradox The book discusses Ukraine's conflict with Russia and the emergence of Ukrainian patriots in Dnipropetrovsk. The city was Russian-speaking but saw a surge in Ukrainian patriotism. Oligarch Iyer Kolomoisky funded his own army to keep Russian separatists from pushing the city into Russia. The new breed of patriots was anti-Russian and longed to turn away from Russia's corrupt system and toward the democratic values of Europe. However, Ukraine was built on corrupt scaffolding where bribery was rampant. Despite this, businessmen like Oleg Marchuk organized groups against bribery and hoped for a level playing field regulated by the rule of law. Divisiveness in Ukraine Some Ukrainian citizens felt more attached to Russian culture and believed that joining Russia would provide better economic incentives. Propaganda by Putin's government created the impression that Ukraine was anti-Russian and served as a Western tool. Despite experiencing real democracy and solidarity during the Maidan protests, Ukraine struggled between democracy, autocracy, and apathy. In conclusion, The Ukrainian Night chronicles the struggle for democracy in Ukraine, highlighting the rise and fall of various political leaders and their impact on the nation's political landscape. The book delves into the effects of corruption, cultural divides, and outside influences on the Ukrainian identity. Despite the challenges and uncertainties faced by the nation, Ukraine's pro-democracy citizens continue to hope for a future built upon the rule of law, economic freedom, and the values of European democracy. In a time of upheaval and uncertainty, this book serves as an inspiring testament to the resilience and determination of a nation striving for change.